I should not have been. It was written that 23 years ago, in the year of the fire horse, a deity would be reborn in the body of a mortal man. A savior, destined to unite our people and show us the way to the promised land. Instead, I was born from my mother's dying body, and my people wept. They said I was a portent of doom. Maybe they were right. Taken me now. Please send me back. Let me go. Without me, they will perish. Answer me. I am not ready to die. Not yet. from a distant country seeks the heavenly sword. He seeks it as a symbol of his dominance over my clan, and with it, his dominance over the land. Bohan has hunted us for months, and he is relentless. My people are great warriors, but we cannot run forever. Kai! I don't like these drones. We'll be trapped like rats in here. Even rats can become tigers when trapped. <laughs> and tigers make great trophies when skinned. Enough! Climb the walls and keep watch. As you command, Father. 
What are you waiting for? Barricade the doors? Yes, Master Shen. They're scaling the walls! been my tutor first and my father second my accursed birth and the death of my mother are hard for him I fear that part of him can never truly forgive me for that there, look another wave approaching We cannot afford to fight amongst ourselves. Let him speak. You know as well as I do. We all know who brought this curse down upon us. I am no curse! Enough! This war is of one person's making. That much is true. But that person is not Nariko. This Come on, Shen. How long have we known each other? Stop hiding from the truth! It's King Bohan's war! Even as an arrogant young prince, he was capable of cruelty beyond measure. Now we command an entire army. We fight together or we die alone. And that means all of us... Assassins. Approaching from the forest. Listen to me, Kai. I want you to climb the trees and shoot at any soldiers you can see. Can you do that for me? Twin Twan? Is it playtime? Yes! Nariko! Where do you think you're going?
You may collect the bodies of your men and give them a dignified burial. All my life, I've had a recurring dream. In my dream, I see my father. He is standing above me. He raises the sword above his head. I try to call out to him and tell him to stop, but the sword strikes down. But this night, it wasn't a dream. The sword is now mine to protect, and my life will change forever. You are needed, Nariko! Get up here! We will make a break from the frozen river. Cover our backs with the cannon and remember, if you see catapults, head east and don't stop running. lost, and the clan's sacrifice will have been in vain.
such a heavy sword for such a fragile creature. Come, child, let me take your burden. Never! Leave me, Nariko! Get the sword away from here! The line must not be broken! Uh, perhaps I'm not making myself clear. I have something of yours, and you have something of mine! <laughs> I was wondering what you have no comprehension of. <gasps> I see the years as we studied together have taught you nothing. No! Shut up! <gasps> Shut up. Actually, Shen, they have taught me that everything comes to he who waits, but quicker yet to he who takes. <laughs> um. Run, no, that oh. wouldn't be wise. That wouldn't be wise at all. Every lifetime has one moment. You stand alone and you see it all so clearly. To save my father's life, I betray his whole reason for living. I know it's death I'm holding now. Did I ever have a choice? What have you done, Nariko? What have you done? Enough! Bring me that sword! And if she still happens to be attached to it, so much to it. Stop! Stop the soul. Stop! I'm wasting my time! Father, 
Where are they? Gone. Dead? Not dead. Gone. Gone where? Master Shen said I must hide. And did you? Yes. No. Well, a bit. Please, Kai, you have to tell me what happened. I got bored. I climbed a tree. I saw those soldiers again. And? They had Master Shen and some of the others. Did you see where they were taking them? This was once a place of tranquility and learning. Now Bohan has ravaged its beauty with his mark of corruption. I can feel the suffering of my father and our clansmen there at Bohan's mercy. And this I know. Some men show no mercy. Kai. Mm -hmm. I have to find father. You keep watch till we return. We may need you to play Twin Twang. Yes, Noriko. We'll find a place to hide. Won't we? <laughs> <laughs> Nothing like your father. 
He had as much spirit as a dead moth. But you are full of spirit. You are full of passion. Death in the air. So much. So much. So much torture. So much. So much. Vixen needs feeding. Who's going to be next? Policies! Hey, come here! I don't want to be next. What? I don't want to be next. That's what I said. Boring! Volunteers! A little eloquence. <laughs> yes, please. My man. My man. Bye. As much. Do you know how to die? Average. You need more time. The clan believed that guarding the heavenly sword was an honor, but I did not. I despised it. I secretly imagined that maybe. The heavenly sword was just a sword, not sent from heaven at all, nor likely to be claimed by some grateful deity that would make everything right again. If that were so, then I was not a curse, or any of the other things they called me. This I kept to myself. What's she doing here? Damn it, Noriko! You've walked into a trap! Maybe she can help us. She'd better help herself first.
Shen is not with us. Bohan is keeping him somewhere else. With every age that comes to pass, there is one born to greatness. Sent from heaven to shape the world to a divine vision. I am the one. <laughs> So where's the sword? Hmm? Hmm? General Flying Fox, I will choose to believe that the reason you let it slip through your hands is some oh, elaborate attempt at humoring me, and not because you are an incompetent fool. I am uh, not a fool, sorry. It's a matter of opinion, sweetie. Did something speak? I can smell something fishy. <laughs> like a rotting octopus crawling with slimy maggots. As opposed <laughs> to a sexless skull. Excuse me! Five. Spooking out of every orifice. I said, excuse me! I like laughing. Silence! Is my middle name, sir? General. Understand this. I need protection. There are those who wish to expunge me. You do that. I shall protect you with my best endeavor, sire. And, of course, the uh, right price, sire. Something about that man I don't entirely trust. Uh, uh, Dear Shin. <laughs> you see, my sole purpose is to bring order to the disparate tribes of this land. Would you allow your people to suffer all for the sake of your silly pagan beliefs? <laughs> <laughs> what would you have me do for you, my most sublime king? Steady. What have I told you about calling me that word? No. It's bad enough seeing you blot out the sun each day without being reminded that you sprang from my youthful and exuberant loins. Sorry, Daddy. No, don't be cruel to the little boy. Poor darling. Roach, go and make our guest a little bit more uncomfortable. <laughs> Hang him somewhere nice and high so that he can be seen by his devoted daughter. Yes, dead, dead. Just go. All of you, just go. Bring it to me, Nariko. Bring me. Heavenly sword. Let us out! Use the levers! The guards use them to let us out!
Thank you, Noriko. Quickly, follow me. Where are you taking us? We have to find my father. At what cost? He's probably dead already. We should just get out of here. How could Shen be so foolish as to trust you with the sword? You of all people! There was a time when I cared what the clan thought about me. But that time has passed. Then I shall pray for the world, Nariko!
has told me such stories. Stories about the clan, the prophecy, and how you came into the world. A screeching, mucus and blood-covered portent of their downfall. Father? Father, it's Noriko. to the prophecy you were. Oh. She didn't know, did she? Oh, sad. Poor girl. It's true. Isn't it? Go on. Go on. Yes, yes, it's true. He still wonders whether he made the right decision in letting you leave. Whether he should have ended your life in that stinking barn. You don't understand, Nariko. Your birth, her death, my duty to the clan. Life is not that simple. Listen to Daddy! You should have done it. You should have killed me. No, no. I have now made that choice for you. Leave me. Good girl. Brave girl. Mariko, uh, leave me. My men will cut him to shreds out there. Now I can shower my attentions on you. And only you. So much better when you're angry. understand what I am. I am what hides in the cold dark waters of your mind. And you can see why you should fear me, sister.
bone. Mariko! She has chosen her path. Now we must follow ours. No! Kai will find Noriko like Noriko found Kai. Oh, most holy ancestors! Oh, I've led hundreds of men through life and death. Why do these girls never listen to a word I say? Who will notice when you die, Noriko? Who will care? Oh, let me kill you. You're dead anyway. You have freed me, sister. No one will care when I got you like a stinking fish. Rushing back to rescue my father, the crusty old pervert. <sighs> Whiptail, you look terribly green around the gills. I cannot feel my legs, my darling. Let me feel them for you. Oh, oh honey. Yes, my dear. I'm scared. So now I have it. The whole land will bow to me and bask in my reflected glory. I lost you. I needed you, but you left me. You're part of me now. And I'm part of you. <laughs> Do not abandon me. Not now, I need you the most. Is your purpose, Noriko, exactly? Hmm? To die valiantly? To shed blood for a worthless cause, perhaps? Well, whatever it is, it's over. Noriko, let's start again. Try to get to know each other a little bit better, hey? I mean, you're actually quite pretty, you know, and. I think life's all about having fun. What do you say, eh? I'm going to kill you. And I'm going to kill that walking flesh bag son of yours. Oh, very interesting. But you see, the sword is mine now, and it is residing safely in my armory with all my other trinkets. <laughs> <laughs> Roach, bring her to the pit. It's time for a little celebration. <laughs> Ha <laughs> ha 
day. This is... To celebrate the capture of the Heavenly Sword, you! I invite you all to indulge me in my little... distraction. <laughs> the rules are quite simple. Last man standing lives, everyone else dies. Enjoy. Bohan pits neighbor against neighbor, brother against brother, and they are too scared to do anything else but fight. But these people don't have to die. There's an attack my father once taught me. You can paralyze the body for a time, still keeping their mind alive. Fight like men! Show us Looks like she'd creep in and slit her throat in the night. Fireworks! <sighs> did... did she see me? Go away! There's nobody here! I love fireworks!
Get lost. Hmm. Maybe I'll hit your weak point for massive damage. Monkey peaches. Huh? The password. It's monkey peaches. Thanks. <laughs> Hello! Damn it, password! Monkey peaches! Intruder alert! Intruder alert! <laughs> Just fooling. Had you going there for a minute though, didn't I? Sorry, things get rather boring. Come on through! I never thought I'd miss that sword, but now I long to hold it once more. Let it tear through flesh and bone as it was meant to do. Without it, I feel empty. Shall we? Off we go. Hold on tight. You have to hide, Kai. Now, here among these rocks, no one can get you. My darling Kai, be my strong, brave daughter. I won't be long, I promise. I'll be back soon. Peter Boo, little one. <laughs> Oh, you do remember me! I had hoped I had...
had made an impression on you. <laughs> oh, imagine slaughtering the last remaining member of a once proud clan. Oh, oh yes! Do run, little one. How can I chase you unless you run? I'll count to ten, and then I'm coming for you. Waste of air! 
What do I need to do to make you understand, eh? Do I need to kill your pets? No! Don't kill pets! They're my only friends! I'll do it. I presume you still want her alive and a little kicking. Presume. I do not pay you to presume. Forget me, Rico. My troops will take care of her. I trust that you can handle the little one. Now, with her delicacy, sir. Twittering dormouse. 
And when I begin to get bored, I start to get messy. So please refrain me from indulging in any futile exercise with this little peppercorn. and bloodshed. I swore to her then that I would always be there for her. Perhaps it is not too late. There are few things in this world worth fighting for, but when you find them, then there is no greater fight.
so glad I didn't kill you during our first little dalliance, Nariko. She is very weak. I know. She will survive these injuries. But her future, that is tied to the fate of our people. That is why I am here. To fight for us? No. To fight for her. It followed me. Then it has found what it was looking for. We have run for too long. Now is the time to stand our ground and fight. We are ready. Send this message to your lonesome master. If you have the courage of a real warrior, then you will come and meet our steel. We are ready, Bohan. We are waiting.
a fractured people. We did. There are still those who refuse to see our greatness. Barbarians! Cannibals who want to eat our brains and, and sully our souls. Thanks to you all. When the dawn comes, we will be outnumbered by a thousand to one. But we are warriors. We are great warriors. We have walked with death every day, and it has made us strong. And we must cleanse the kingdom of the perverts. <laughs> Fanatics <laughs> must annihilate the degenerates who defile our pure and wholesome minds with sick pagan imagery and foul our mouths with hot and spicy muck that masquerades as nourishment! Take heart that the heavenly sword is still on our side. It is wielded by Nariko. She has rescued many of your friends and brothers, regardless of creed or clan. Many of you are here today because of her actions. But most of all, we must destroy that female hell hag, that demi devil, who lures me ever towards her, waiting, waiting for the moment when she can sink her slavering jaws into my sacred genitals! Say your goodbyes now. So that tomorrow you can end a battle with a clear head and a strong heart. If this battle is indeed to be our final hour, then let it also be our finest. Kill her! Wipe her out! It is my will! My father always knew how to prepare men for battle. For death. Once death has been fully accepted, there is nothing to fear. You are free. If I can leave Kai one last thing, let it be a future. A chance to do things differently. To live a peaceful life. To be happy. That is worth dying for. To your positions! Man, one of the cannons. Remember, use our height and range to our advantage. Fire on my command. Sending in demolition units. They must be stopped before they breach the walls. And out of ammunition. from above. How are you, Nariko? I'm fine. Nariko, I know that in my desire to be your tutor, I often neglected to be your father. 
It was a poor decision for me and for you. If you hadn't, I probably would have died long ago. Ready? Ready. Stay with me, Nariko!
Why are they retreating? to those people that believed in you but now you're going to listen to me take my life and the rest of my people are finished those that have shed blood in your name those people that have died for you will be gone and all you will be is a rusting spoil of war without me all you will become is a beautiful object to be admired behind glass and then you will gather dust then you will die. You want to take my life? Well, you took that before I even touched you. And now, I am what stands between you and death. I am all you've got! land to order. I have. I've shaped it. I have. I have prepared it for a, a brand new era. And only this girl, this beautiful girl, stands in my way. Grant me power. Power to send her back 
to the underworld that spat her out. Please.
let me die like this. I could accomplish so much. No, please. Spare me. I beg of you. And a great warrior will be born. One that will lead our people out of darkness and show them the way to the promised land. And that you did, Nariko. That you did. You have freed us. The promised land is here and now. You 
saw the truth about the sword. Others worshipped it, murdered for it, but you mastered it. And all that strength, all that beauty was your own. I won't let you down, Noriko. I'll keep the sword safe. Maybe even forgotten. But I'll always remember you.